If you haven't already heard of the Digicam craze, then sorry to say you're kind of too late already. Like film resurged in popularity a couple of years ago, certain old digital cameras have already doubled or even tripled in price over the last few years. But why? I mean, is there really anything to these old junk drawer cameras? And how are they anything like film? Admittedly, the term digicam is confusing and can mean a lot of different things to different people in different times. You see, it's not a new term, and in the late 90s, early 2000s, when these cameras were being produced, it just meant a digital camera. Nowadays, it's almost a term of endearment for any old camera resurfaced into the modern era. And if I'm following the trend correctly, which Honestly, I'm probably not. Then the older and quirkier the camera, the digier it is. And digier is not a real word, but I'm just throwing that in there. Here's an example of a digicam that I've been photographing with the last couple of months. It's a 2005 Fujifilm F11. It's a fairly unassuming pocket camera that can be had for 30 bucks any day. It offers a sharp lens, manual controls, and some primitive film simulations. But why would anyone purposely use an inferior digital camera. There's a lot of ideas out there about why these cameras are making a resurgence now, but I think it can all be summarized in one word, nostalgia. And this is where I think film resurgence comes in as a neat comparison here. I'm overgeneralizing here, of course, but much of the film photography growth in recent years has come from photographers who never have or hardly ever shot film growing up. And that's myself included as someone who likes to shoot and develop film every now and then. It's a hearkening to the recent past, something tangible, physical that you can hold and feel different from the current world around us, which is advancing in technology so fast. And the cameras themselves are a big part of that experience as are the results the photographs. And from that perspective, digicams aren't really all that different from using film in 2022. They offer a totally different physical experience than a smartphone or a modern mirrorless camera would, and the results look, well, different. Both the experience of using a digicam and the photographs they produce help you relive the past or experience something before your time for the first time. And this camera is a really good example of a digicam. It's a 6.3 megapixel point and shoot from 2005. And if you think 2005 is old for a digital camera, that's actually pretty modern for the digicam craze. What makes this a good digicam is the extra small size, this cool super CCD sensor, the sharp lens, uh, though it does have bad chromatic aberrations. And then it does have manual and priority modes and features like this are the things I look for in digicams. It also has some built-in early Fujifilm film simulations and that just adds another layer to the experience. And you'll actually find a lot of digicam photographers that go for optimizing JPEGs straight out of the camera. And that's not unlike the allure of film photography, which does much of the same. Try not to rely on outside technology, but getting that look and aesthetic straight from the hardware. And the images from this 2005 Fujifilm are really lovely, I think. I'm all about using whatever camera you want to achieve your vision, but certain cameras do give off certain aesthetics and you can use that as a tool in your advantage. And if the aesthetic you're going for is that early 2000s digital vibe, then yeah, this camera will do that. And maybe the best part about all of this and the fact that you're watching this video right now is that while some old digital cameras have jumped up in price significantly, there are still tons of deals to be had. Earlier I said that digicam photography equals nostalgia, but if you gave me a couple more words to work with, I would say nostalgia on a budget. And I think that's part of the allure. We all have these campfire stories of somebody who found an X-Pan or a Pentax 6-7 back in 2010 for 200 bucks. But well, those days are long gone and they are not coming back. And I think many of us are realizing that with the resurgence of digicams, that you can have that same collecting and hunting experience, but at a far lower cost. For now, I'll warn you, it gets addicting and you can definitely spend a lot of money. To get you started on this journey, here's a video you should watch where I use an excellent digicam that you can grab for $5. I'll see you over there. And until next time, happy snapping.